So I'm naming this video the TMI video. So for those people that are like family and friends, if you don't want to hear any of this, then I would suggest closing the video now. Okay, so the reason I'm naming this the TMI video is because I'm going to talk about um, two things that um, I, I maybe I haven't, I've never really, who the hell looks for these type of things online or, um, yeah, you, I don't think you've searched it. Maybe you did search it. I know I didn't, but I never once thought and stopped and said, hey, how is this surgery going to change my smell? I came home from the hospital and Ron made a comment a couple of days afterwards. He said, hey, did you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> that's a bad sign. If somebody asks you, did you breath, like brush your teeth this morning? That's pretty bad. So um, I was like, why do my, does my breath stink? And he's like, um, he's like, it, it kind of smells kind of bad but, and I've never had like smelled you with bad breath before like ever and that's including morning kisses and everything so he's like yeah and I did search it and obviously it does happen um after surgery sometimes especially when it has to do with like um I guess an operation that's um having to do with your stomach so <laughs> Ron um it, it, I, I wasn't hurt. I was just glad that he was being honest. And after, like, I think a month, um, no, not even a month, maybe like two, two and a half weeks after that, he, I asked him again, and he's like, no, you, you, it's fine now. Be prepared for that, people. Be prepared. Because I don't know if it's happened to other people or not, but, I mean, I brushed every morning, even though I was in pain and all that, and I brushed at night. And I did floss and I did gargle and all that. It, ugh, nobody prepared me for that. So, um, I'm telling you. Gas. Focus. Gas, people, oh my god. I thought it was going to go away. Like, I thought it was just, you know, the gas. Because they pump your stomach with gas to, to do the surgery. And they say that afterwards, the most painful part is the gas being released or whatever. So... The first two weeks, it was hard for me to even pass gas um, and hard for me to burp because, of course, your body's still healing and all that. Um, you'll see it in my videos where I burp from time to time, um, and that's just how it is. Like, I thought it was me. I thought I'm not doing something right. I've tried drinking straight up from a cup. I tried avoiding straws like they suggested, and then I tried with straws, and I tried sipping. I tried swallowing. No matter how I do it, I always end up burping. And it's just, it's kind of embarrassing because I work and I'm pretty sure people can hear me. And I've tried burping silently, but if you don't burp, and this is how I feel, and this is how my body feels. If I don't burp and I try to keep it in, my stomach just feels bloated, like, you know? So I have to burp and I say, excuse me, and... It's just, I never had to deal with this before. Um, other gas. Let's go on to the more uncomfortable, I guess, for some people. I don't care. I mean, passing gas is natural. Um, <laughs> my boyfriend, for the longest time, I think, um, was encouraging me to pass gas in front of him. And he's like, oh my god, it'll make us so much closer. Guys don't have a problem with passing gas, but girls are like, oh my god, we're not supposed to do that. And I was like, fuck it, fine. I think two months into our relationship, he was, like, really, like, encouraging me to. I don't know why, but I did, and it's whatever. Like, we don't really care. Um, it's not something that he's like, oh, my God, ew. No, I could fart, like, and five minutes later, he's, like, wanting to have sex. So, it's whatever. So, um, we're really comfortable in that way. I mean, we've been together for, like, two and a half years now, so whatever. The smell. Okay, passing gas now. The smell, when I pass gas now, like there's no hiding it. There is no hiding it. And I don't understand what it is. 
I mean, I'm eating chicken. I'm eating, um, what, the vegetables that I do eat is um, corn. I ate, I eat carrots sometimes. I eat broccoli. I eat edamame. Um, I have a lot of kinds of soup. I mean, it's nothing super major that I didn't eat before. And I don't, I don't, I just don't know how to explain it. But my, when I pass gas now, there's no hiding it. It smells. It smells. And then I remember reading the pamphlet before I, I got gastric bypass. There was all these like, you know, warnings, uh, possible complications and stuff. And like, I read it. But I was like, no. It said it's something along the lines where your gas, like, it will be foul smelling. That's what it said. And I thought it was like, whatever. Like, I really thought it was not going to affect me. But, and it, I mean, for real, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. But it's just, I'm surprised at the smell. Very surprised. Forget, like, passing gas at work. It's not going to happen because everybody's going to know who it was. <laughs> or forget passing gas in public because you're going to have a cloud following you. I know this is, like, I don't know. Some people probably think, like, girl, you're airing out all your dirty laundry online. I don't give a fuck. This is reality. This is what hap is happening, you know. Ron doesn't care. He, he teases me about it and, you know... He's never, like, been mean about anything, and I think he's, like, the perfect man for me. Because <laughs> he doesn't, he loves me for me, so he's like, fuck it. I mean, if it means a healthier you, who cares? Yes, there's some negative sides to it with the smell and all that stuff. But, I mean, it's well worth it, and, you know, if you're with someone who accepts you just the way you are, then it's not really going to matter. Um... I just wanted to make the video just to uh, say a couple of things that is kind of unspoken. I mean, I've never heard anybody say these things. And maybe, like I said, I didn't search the videos. Um, or maybe I didn't, like, view the right vlogs that tell you these kind of details. But, yeah. Be prepared for what's to come right after the surgery. It, it is more than just, you know, changing the way you eat. A lot of other things come with this surgery. Um, I'm, for one, still happy with it. So, I said I was going to pick a winner um, from the last time. And I did say to comment, like, and subscribe um, for a chance to win um, the four-pack of the Crystal Lights. But only one person commented, and she won last time. So I want to be fair. And I'm going to give it to, uh, I picked at random whomever um, subscribed, um, but didn't comment. So, next time, subscribe, comment, and I guess you don't have to like the video, but if you like it, go ahead. Um, the person that I picked is Lady Devil Dog. Yeah, Lady Devil Dog. So if you see this video, go ahead and message me. Let me know your address um, or an email if you want to put it out there. I put mine as living and loving, living and loving by at hotmail.com. And I will mail these out to you. It's a four pack. It's um, the lemonade and the raspberry. Okay. Um, I'm also going to be giving something else away in this video. I've had this for a while now, like maybe a month, and I never used it and I don't see myself using it. I don't even know why I bought it. Maybe because I saw such great reviews for it, even though I know I'm not a shake person. Why the, why the hell did I buy this? My boyfriend thinks I have a, a, a shopping addiction. I probably do because I'm always on Amazon. I'm a Prime member and I love to shop. But um, It's the blender bottle. It's, as you can see, it's still in the bag. I have not took it out. It's brand new. Never used it. And I think it's like 7 or $8. Um, like I said, I could return it if I want to, but I 
rather give it to someone who might need it. Go ahead and subscribe. One, two, leave a comment. And optional is if you want to like the video, you can. Um, but I will pick a winner um, and announce it in my next video. Um, so thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or if this was too too much TMI, <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, yeah, it's the reality, people. Deal with it.